Small charger, big power. Let's check these out. Dave Taylor here, and I wanna talk about power chargers. Now, these are these ubiquitous things like this that you need to charge all your devices, whether they're smartphones, tablets, computers, who knows what the heck you have, but you always need to have some interface that plugs into the wall and outputs the correct wattage, amperage, and voltage so that you can charge your devices. Now, generally speaking, the chargers that come with your devices aren't very good. They're inexpensive, so they can actually ship lots of them and save some money, but that doesn't mean that they're great. Enter a new generation. These are gallium nitride chargers, and these are really cool. So gallium nitride is a replacement for silicon on circuit boards. It is a crystalline, transparent crystalline material, and it gives the ability to work with higher voltage, with less energy loss, and it allows for smaller units. This unit replaces this unit, and not only does it replace it, but it's actually more flexible and generates more power. How cool is that? So let me start with the other one nonetheless. <laughs> this little guy is absolutely one of my favorites. This is the Spigen PowerArc 20 watt USB-C charger. It is perfect for smart devices like phones and tablets. In fact, it's designed to work for the iPhone 12 series. It generates 20 watts. Now, when Apple shipped the iPhone 12, I have a 12 Pro, and it comes in this box, and people that have had iPhones before say, that box is mighty thin. The reason it's mighty thin is it doesn't come with a charger. So you're on your own, right? So you can buy Apple's classic mainstay. This is the Apple 5 watt charger. Is it five watts? Well, good luck figuring that out. As you can see in this inset, there's all sorts of tiny type on here, but it is mighty hard to figure out what's going on. Turns out, Five volts at one amp equals five watts. So luckily the math's pretty easy in this regard. So this is a five watt charger. And then this device that's only a little bit bigger is a 20 watt charger, which means that the 20 watt charger does a better job and it charges faster, right? How much faster? Well, I charge my iPhone 12 Pro 40% in an hour, which means that it's somewhere around two hours or so to do a full charge. But charging on modern devices is a little funky because going from zero to 40% is a different amount of time than going from 60 to 100%. Why? Because as your devices get closer to 100%, they slow down the charge to maximize and extend battery life. Now that's really great because you don't want to have to replace your batteries every 18 months. But it does mean that it's a little tricky to convey actual power delivery speeds. So 40% was what I got on my phone going from like 30 to, I don't know, 70%, whatever that number is. <laughs> and this works with PD power delivery. It can handle anything from 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. And it outputs, like I said, a solid 20 watts, and it will step that down for different devices. The idea of this whole PD power delivery is there's a negotiation between the charger and the device to figure out what's the maximum wattage I can handle safely. So that all happens magically, have good cables, that makes that easier, um, but it might be generating 15 watts, it might be generating eight watts, depending on your device, but it can handle all the way up to 20 watts, which is great because this guy is five watts and that's it. If you don't need five watts, you're out of luck. If you want more, it can't do that. So um, <laughs> that one went away, so it goes. <laughs> so let me give you a couple of close-up shots. So on the end, you can see that there's on the bottom, there's a little tiny LED that lights up blue that shows you when it's active and delivering power. And then on the other side, as is with all of these modern devices, the prongs flip in and out, very handy. I will tell you what the price is when we get to the end of this review, so stick with me there. Now, let's talk about the bigger task, which is charging a computer. So this is a MacBook Pro. I've also tested it on like a Microsoft Surface and a Dell 2-in-1 and all that. And this unit turns out to be really fantastic. This is the AU Key Omnia USB-C 100 watt PD charger. It's a mouthful, but basically it is nice and simple. It has one USB-C on that end. It has the flip down 
prongs for a wall plug on the other end, and that's everything. So this compares with this from Apple. Now, I can tell you that these Apple chargers are mighty spendy, and Apple has not yet moved to gallium nitride. They will, and then their chargers will become much nicer. Meanwhile, get a third-party one. So there's your size reference, but there's also some other interesting numbers here. On Mac OS, there's a system report you can get to that you can look at power and you can see what is the operating seeing as the input charge value. So I plugged in this 20 watt, is it gonna do anything? Well, here's what system report says. And you can get to system report by going to Apple menu about this Mac and then clicking on the system report button, then look for power. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this shows 20 watts and it's unable to charge, but I'll tell you a little secret. If you're really in a pinch and you're really desperate, little tiny chargers like this can give you a little bit of a charge if you turn the computer off or you sleep it, whatever it is. If it's using zero power, 20 watts will very slowly give it some charge if you really have to do that. Not recommended, obviously it's lower than the computer wants, but it says no charge and that's not entirely true. So then I plugged in the Apple and this is the 87 watt charger. And this is super interesting because you can see in the system report that it shows 87 watts as the charger, but it's only using 60 watts from it to charge the computer. Hmm, so why not buy the 61 watt charger? That is an excellent point, buy the 61 watt charger. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this, and this is, as I said, the AU key Omnia. And this one also reports in system report 60 watts of charge. So these deliver the same power, even though this one is less expensive and more flexible and has much more capacity because other devices that can take more than 60 watts, this can deliver up to 100 watts of power. Now, it also works with 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. It has PD3, which is power delivery. So again, it has the ability to, to negotiate maximum wattage with the device you're charging. Super important, you really want that. And then it's output. This can charge a phone, this can charge a tablet, this can charge anything. In fact, it can do five volts, nine volts, 12 volts, or 15 volts at three amps and it can do 20 volts at five amps. And you basically multiply those numbers. So 20 volts at five amps gives you 100 watts, right? So this can handle and output a lot of different power levels, which is great, because then you have one flexible device. And let's be honest, you don't really want to carry this in your pocket. This is big and heavy. This is actually lighter in addition to being smaller. So how small is it? Well, it is 2.5 inches by 2.4 inches by 1.3 inches and it's 6.6 .6 ounces. How much charge did I get on my computer? I got a 56% charge in an hour. Now, generally when I test charge, I turn off the computer or sleep the computer to do that. Because if you're using the computer, particularly if you're using like CPU intensive software while you're charging, then obviously some of that power is gonna be routed to running the computer rather than giving you full charging capability. So that's a good thing to know. If you really need to charge your computer, turn it off, plug it in and go have a walk and you'll get more charge than if you took that same amount of time while you were working. So, how much do these cost? Well, before we get to the cost, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. It's the little red box on the lower right side, a click or a tap, and boom, you're subscribed. Great. Okay, now, start with a little guy. This, one of my favorites, <laughs> <laughs> is the Spigen Power Arc 20 watt USB-C charger, perfect for any little device, tablets or phones, and look how small that is. Honestly, you could put this on your keychain, it would work great. In fact, there's an idea for you Spigen, put a little keychain loop on it. Why not, right? So, this is $19.99, minus 30% right now. I don't know if you'll be able to see that when you go to Amazon, but it's $19.99 at Amazon.com. That is a no-brainer. Buy another one, put it in a drawer in your office, have it in your purse or your backpack or something as it, you know, needed for emergencies. This is a great little charger. Then we get to the bigger one. This is the AU Key Omnia USB-C 100 watt PD charger. 
And this is $45.99 minus 30% right now at Amazon.com. So both of these are having some screaming deals right now. And even at full price, they are solid options. And I can tell you, last time I priced out an Apple charger, it was closer to $100 when this is closer to $45, you know, even without the discount, this is obviously, you can buy two of these for the cost of one of these. Now, I will again reiterate, have a really good USB-C to USB-C cord. I see people complain that these sort of third-party devices don't charge your MacBook. They will, you just need a good cable. So if you plug in something like this and your computer says not charging, try a different cable. You'll be surprised. There is actually a difference and some of them work better than others. So that's all I got. I'm going to go back and charge all my devices with these glorious little tiny things. And I hope you're intrigued by gallium nitride and we'll start looking for it because it is the future. This, that's the past. I would toss it off camera, but it's big and heavy and dangerous. So we won't do that. <laughs> in any case, I'm going to charge everything, which means I hope to see you in my next video.